Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing well, right? So, welcome back to my channel or if you are viewing for the first time, welcome to my channel English with Bhavna. I hope you all have watched my part 1, The Portrait of a Lady. And if you haven't watched, please go through the link I have just uploaded up so that you can just click on the link and you can watch the part 1. And once you watch the part 1, you will be able to connect to my part 2 class. So do watch it and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel as it motivates me to come up with the new videos every day as per your choice. And let me know in the comment box if you do have any queries, any doubts related to any of your topic. I would be more than happy to help you and clear your doubts. Okay, so let's get started with the part 2 of Portrait of a Lady. Now, before starting with the part 2, let me summarize what was the part 1 about. So, if I just want to summarize you before starting with the chapter part 2 of over here. Uh, the uh, author has described his grandmother saying that my grandmother is not pretty and uh, like uh, it was not pretty in the past as well. And if we imagine also thinking about her pretty and young, it is very like unpleasing thought to him. So he can never imagine that his grandmother was pretty and old. Why? Looking at this current situation. He's saying uh, from at least from last 20, uh, 20 years, he uh, knows the grandmother. And from last 20 years, she's safe. She, uh, she's neither growing more old because there is no scope of growing more old. According to the author, my grandmother has already grown quite old and there is nothing like she'll grow more older than that because no one can grow more older than that according to the author. So author is saying, I cannot imagine if someone is telling me that your grandmother was pretty young, she was having a husband, she was having a very good uh, kids and all that. So she doesn't, uh, she, he is like, no, it cannot happen. But he was having a revolting thought this way. And also with the grandfather, it was said that he was a like quite a good man who was having a children, who was having a very good body and all that. So when he saw the picture of the grandfather, uh, the grandfather is no more. But when he saw the picture, uh, he said that uh, no, my grandfather cannot be the one who has a children or a wife, but can be the one who have lots of grandchildren. So he was saying about grandfather also, like uh, he looked so old according to the author that he is at least 100 years old. That was the story. And also the grandmother and the author shared a beautiful bond and they both were very attached to each other. The parents of the author were, went to the city to get settled down. And meanwhile, the uh, author and the grandpa, grandmother used to uh, be alone at their house and the grandmother used to take care of the child fetching from the school, taking care of his needs, bathing him, dressing him up, feeding him, giving chapatis to eat. Everything was done by grandmother. So they shared a very beautiful bond. But what happened? Now parents got settled up in the city. So they just called the grandmother and the, their son as well. Now when they went back, they didn't share the same bond as they used to. Now let's see the story now. Okay. Now. What did uh, like grandmother used to ask now also about the school and all that. But uh, now she used to not go to drop him to the school like before. Uh, so he used to say what has been taught in the school uh, when grandmother used to question him. Author. I would tell her English words and little things of Western science. And learning the law of gravity. Okay. As it is principle, the world being around etc. This made her unhappy. Now, if you know now, like grandparents, uh, there are still, uh, you know, grandparents, I would say, uh, who are having uh, old thoughts, okay? And they are not ready to accept the change. They don't accept the change, okay? It's the same over here. She, uh, somewhere she is not ready to accept the change. What is that change? That everything taught is Western, nothing related to religion and all that, nothing related to prayers and all that. So, she was little bit upset and also she couldn't help with any of the lessons to the author as it was completely in English now. She did not believe in the things they learned at English school and was distressed that there was no teaching about the God and their scriptures and the scriptures means the religion and all that the Bhagavan ki kitabe wagira abhiye prayers songs and all that that what he is saying. One day I announced who announced author that we were then given music lessons. She was very disturbed. Once, as soon as the author said, 
She didn't say anything, but she was disturbed. It could be re reflected from her face only. To her music had lived such associations. Means what? You know what? Uh, today also, uh, in some parts I would say, uh, like people don't consider music, dance and all that as a career. They look such people with a down noise. For them, the soul is not good at all. And the people who are from a good family, the gentle folk, we say, they don't do such work. They don't go to dancing. They don't do singing you know, all that because it is not good. Now, it was the monopoly of harlots. Means what? Monopoly means what? Uska hi adhikarta. Matla ek hi cheez. Harlots means what? Prostitutes. For what? The dancing, singing and all that. And beggars are not meant for gentle folk. According to grandmother, this was her thought. That dance and all that is not made for the good family children. And it is made only for the prostitutes and all that and just a monopoly for them beggars and all that not for family like us uh, good children who belong to a good family that was a thought process of that grandmother uh, though the century has changed a lot but still you know there are people who are not changing with the time and they are unable to get back to the you know good thinking process as well because they didn't change with the time at last she said nothing but her silence meant disappear kuch bola nahi but as in, uh, she gave a look, na, where everyone understood that she is not approving that dance, music and all that. She rarely talked to me after that. She started talking like, bohati kam ho gaya karna. When I went to the university, I was given room of my own. Obviously, the child has grown up. When you know that you are grown up, obviously the parents, what they do, they give you more of privacy to you uh, because you have more of studies. You do late night studies and all that. Same it was with the author. So they, uh, what did they, he was given a separate room now. The common link of friendship was snapped. Means broken. Totally, that uh, friendship ka jo link tha, jo kya bacha tha khali? Ek hi room mein That was also been broken up, snapped. My grandmother accepted her solution well. What does it mean? Like being private, her living in a private room and all, it's okay. As her resignation, means with resignation. Okay, fine, take it. Man well. She rarely left her spinning wheel. Spinning wheel means what you know, the spinning wheel, you know, as a bill, sapan chalate, chair, to bill, chair, vesa. To talk to anyone. From sunrise to sunset, she sat by her will, spinning and reciting prayers. Matla ko prayer, uspe bethi rari bhi, rapna aise mala. Yes, only prayers. Only in the afternoon, she relaxed for a while to feed the sparrows. Afternoon me aram ki, thura sa ko sparrows ko khila de ki. While she, eaten, uh, while she sat in the barrender, breaking the bread into little bits, hundreds of little birds collected around her, creating a veritable badlam of chirpings. Means what? In them, the wooden a cha 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 chi, wo wale cha 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 cha, that sound used to come because there were hundreds of birds, okay? Also, they used to go cock and all that. Some came and perched on a legs, means. Others on her shoulders and some even sat on her head. She smiled but she never shoot them away. Matlab, unko Aise smile karte te, but aise nahi bolte Aisa nahi karte te, kabhi bhi. It used to be the happiest half an hour of the day of her. She used to be very really happy that time. Let's see next. When I decided to go abroad for further studies, I was sure my grandmother would be upset. उसने सोचा कि अब मैं जाऊंगा अब्रॉड तो मम मदर को बहुत प्रॉब्लम होगी अपसेट हो जाएंगे वो आई वुड बी अ वी फॉर फाइव इयर्स एंड एट हर एज वन कुड नेवर टेल अब ऑथर को लग रहा है अब मैं पांच साल तक यूनिवर्सिटी में पढ़ूंगा तो मुझे नहीं पता कि मेरी ग्रैंड मदर नेक्स्ट फाइव इयर्स बाद में जब आऊंगा मिलेगी या नहीं मिलेगी बिकॉज द एज शी हैज ग्रोन ओल्ड बट माई ग्रैंड मदर कुड इसका मतलब ग्रैंड मदर वॉज फिट शी वॉज नॉट इवन सेंटिमेंटल इमोशनल नहीं हुई when he was going to the university, the author, she was not sentimental. She came to live me at the railway station but did not talk or show any emotion. Railway station, I dropped them in prayer. Her lips moved in prayer. As in only prayers. Her mind was lost in prayer. Her fingers were busy tearing the uh, beads of her rosary. Silently she kissed her on my forehead. And when I left, I cherished the moist imprint at perhaps the last sign of physical contact between us. Means, 
ऑथर इज थिंकिंग कि शायद ये लास्ट किस मेरी ग्रैंड मदर ने दिया है मुझे प्यार से फोर हेड पे एंड उसको बहुत अच्छा लगा वो जो किस करने के बाद मॉइस्ट रहना बहुत अच्छा लगा ही फेल्ट इट वेरी लाइक बिकॉज द बॉन्ड इज ऑब्वियसली वेरी ब्यूटिफुल बिटवीन अ ग्रैंड चाइल्ड एंड अ ग्रैंड मदर एज वेल सो ही थॉट माइट बी दिस इज अ लास्ट यू नो द फिजिकल टच बिटवीन दैम बट दैट वॉज नॉट सो After five years, I came home and was met by her at the station. After five years, also she came to pick up her grandson. She did not look a day older. Means so, just five years ago, she was still a baby. See, she had no time for words, and while she claps me in her arms, or the arm muscle here, in her arms, I could hear her reciting her prayers. Prayers, he was reciting. Even on the first day of my arrival, her happier moments were her with her sparrows, whom she had fed longer, and with the frivolous rebels means what? Uh, light means you know in the light-hearted and uh, rebels means like disapproval. In the evening, a change came over. She did not pray. First time I saw her. कि वो प्रेयर्स नहीं कर रही है में क्या कर रही है शी कलेक्टेड द वुमेन ऑफ द नेबरहुड आ जाओ सबको बुलाया किसके लिए गॉसिप करने के लिए टू सिंग यू नो गॉट एन ओल्ड ड्रम एंड स्टार्टेड टू सिंग ओके सिंग मतलब आई लाइक ट्रेडिशनल सॉन्ग्स होता है कस्टम सॉन्ग्स होता है यू नो शादी पे अलग होता है बच्चा होने पे अलग होता है कोई आता है उसका अलग होता है वैसे कस्टम सॉन्ग्स ओके वेल फॉर सेवरल आवर्स शी थम्ड द सैंगिंग सिंग्स ऑफ द dilapidated drum and sang of the homecoming of warriors now it means what just a minute dilapidated means what wo drums the na wo itne achhi condition mein nahi the waise was it toote bute the is like wo nikal chuka tha wo skin wagera drum ke and all that but still was it the jab baja rahe the mast gana ga rahe the gana means not bollywood wala uh, it's a like, wo custom wala ki ghar pe koi aaya hai waise वो वाला गाना बजा रहे थे ओके ना वेरी फर्दर वी हैड टू परसुएट हर मतलब उनको सबको बोलना पड़ा कन्विंस करना पड़ा बस हो गया और नहीं टू स्टॉप ओवर स्ट्रेनिंग That was the first time since I had known her that she did not pray for the first time in life she did not pray till the author knew her The next morning she was taken ill It was a mild fever and the doctor told us that it would go fever tha the doctor ne bola chale jayega but my grandmother thought differently she told us that her aunt was near and is near now she said that since only a few years before the close of the last chapter of her life she had omitted to pray she was not going to waste any more time talking to us matlab everyone tried to talk to her but she didn't she just ignored it she continued with whatever she wanted to do like bahut protest bhi kiya ki zid bhi kya baat karu nothing she didn't do she ignored completely she lay peacefully in bed praying and telling her bits like bits pe wo pray karte na bisa even before we could suspect her lips stopped moving and the rosary fell from her lifeless finger achanak se saans chali gayi to obviously wo mara jo haath mein thi wo se gir gayi a peaceful pallor spread on her face okay and as a customary laid her sorry it's here and we know that she was dead we lifted her off the bed and as it's a customary laid her on the ground and covered her with the red shroud wo red kapde se unko cover kar diya because wo mar gaye the wo custom hai after a few hours of mourning we left her alone to make arrangements for her funeral matlab obviously a funeral ki arrangement karne thi to sab chale gaye aas paas saman lene ke liye in the evening we went to our home with a crude scratcher jo banta na lakdi ka aur leke jaane ke liye waise banta okay to take her to be cremated the sun was setting had lit her room and the veranda with a blaze of golden light we stopped halfway in the courtyard beech mein ek baar ke rukti balcony ke wahan pe all over the veranda in her room right up to where she lay dead and stiff wrapped in the red shroud thousands of sparrow sc- 
स्कैटर्ड ऑन द फ्लोर मीन्स थाउजेंड्स ऑफ स्पैरोज आ गए थे जिनको ग्रैंड मदर रोज फीड करती थी आज वो सबके सब इकट्ठा सब हो गए थे वहां पे जहां पे उसको फीड करते थे ओके देर वर नो शॉपिंग बट कुछ शॉपिंग काओ काओ कुछ नहीं था आज एकदम शांत थे सब स्पैरोज भी वी फेल सॉरी फैमिली फेल सॉरी फॉर वॉट पर्स माई मदर फेस्ट सम ब्रेड फॉर दे मॉम ने बोला कि एटलीस्ट ये लोग को खिला देते ब्रेड दादी रोज खिलाती थी शी ब्रोक इन टू दिटल क्रम्स जैसे दादी करती थी वैसे उन लोगों ने छोटे छोटे टुकड़े किए द ग्रैंड मदर यूज टू डू इट एंड ट्रू इट टू देम द स्पैरोस टुक नो नोटिस ऑफ द ब्रेड उस दिन स्पैरोस ने कुछ भी नहीं देखा ब्रेड ब्रेड वेन वी कैरेट माई ग्रैंड मदर स्कोप ऑफ मतलब वो डेड बॉडी लेके गए दे फ्लू अवे क्वाइटली इसका मतलब क्या हुआ स्पैरोस इंसान एक बार मतलब ही हो सकते हैं हमेशा याद रखना बट जो जानवर होते हैं वो इतने मतलब ही नहीं होते वो जो लास्ट दिन आए थे वो कुछ खाने के लिए नहीं आए थे उनको भी बहुत ज्यादा लगाव हो गया था ग्रैंड मदर से द स्पैरोस वर आल्सो अटैच टू द ग्रैंड मदर दैट्स द रीजन दे सेट एज अ रिस्पेक्ट देर केम एंड दे वर फीलिंग रियली बैड दैट दे हैव लॉस्ट दे आर फ्रेंड जस्ट टू से गुड बाय दे केम ओवर देर एंड इमेजिन थाउजेंड्स ऑफ स्टूडेंट थाउजेंड्स ऑफ स्पैरोस व देर but still no chopping was there no everyone was silent each and every sparrow was silent and they didn't even notice to the bread it was the daily they used to eat but they didn't even notice that and as soon as the grandmother was taken away for her funeral they also flew away quietly next morning the sweeper swept away the bread crumbs into the dustbin wo baad mein bhi nahi khaye aise kaisa usko kya kiya लेके डस्टबिन में फेंक दिया जब नेक्स्ट डे स्वीपर्स आए थे आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड दिस चैप्टर वेरी वेल ओके इफ यू हैव एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ डाउट यू कैन आस्क मी नाउ एज वेल ओके सो दिस चैप्टर इज अ वेरी ब्यूटिफुल चैप्टर आई वुड से पोर्ट्रेट ऑफ अ लेडी right and if in case you have a meaning doubt and all that i have already put up words you can just check out the meanings as well also don't forget to look at the part 1 whatever doubts you have you can just use the comment box and just post your doubts and if you were you hope you have a younger siblings who is struggling with their maths don't forget to check out the link which i have posted in my description do check out for the maths which has been taught from the basic and you will really love it believe me don't forget to subscribe that channel as well okay so i hope you enjoyed the today's session as well so we are done with the chapter the portrait of the lady i'll be coming back with another video soon and if you want me to come with any other new topic which you feel that it's very difficult or if you feel that i should make you understand feel free to use the comment box also ask everyone to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button so that i get motivated and i come every day with a new video for you all okay bye bye take care stay safe stay happy